Right, so this is the binomial theorem, which is in the formula booklet. Okay, so we're going to use this here expansion for the following question. So in A, it says expand this fraction here in, in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x squared. So the first three terms, essentially, okay, um, which are given to us in the formula booklet. So when it comes to expanding this, remember, um, we have to have the bracket at the top, okay? So if we take that up, we'll have then a negative power, okay? So we'll have 1 plus 2x, the power then will be negative 2, okay? Then we can expand it, okay? You don't want to expand it on the bottom, okay? Because we'll end up then with, um, well, foil, won't we? A double bracket, um, so we'll have an expansion on the bottom. But the trouble is then it'll be 1 over that, okay? And it's difficult to work with. But if we take it up, we can now expand this so that it terms up to x squared using this expansion here. Okay, so quite simply, if we follow um, the formula here, we start off with 1, okay, um, plus then nx. Yeah, now remember n is the power, okay, so in this case the power is negative 2, okay, and the x then is that term there in the bracket. So in our case, we've got 2x. Plus then, well, we've got an n times n reduced by 1, so n times n minus 1, so n, remember, is minus 2. Um, n minus 1, well, if I take away 1 from this, I get minus 3. On the bottom, then, we've got 2, what we call 2 factorial. In other words, 1 times 2, which is just 2. And then we've got to square the x term. Now, remember, the x term is that second term in the bracket there. Okay, which we've got 2x. We need to square this, okay, but be careful. You need to put that in a bracket, right, and then square it because what people often forget is to square the 2 as well. Okay, and we need to make sure we do that. So we can, that's going to get us up to the x squared term. So we can just put plus dot dot dot, and then we need to um, simplify this then. Okay, so we've got 1 then. Okay, um, so then we've got, um, well, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, so minus 4x here. Okay, now with this here, maybe we'll take our time. So minus 2 times minus 3 is positive uh, 6, yeah? Divide by 2 is 3. And then we work this bracket out. So remember I said a moment ago, when you square it, you've got to square the 2 as well. So that will be 4x squared, okay? So you end up having 1 minus 4x, and then 3 times the 4 is 12, 12x squared. Okay, and we've got up to the x squared term. It'll just keep going, right? Um, an infinite amount of terms, but we only need up, the, up to the x squared term. So in B then, it says, um, use your answer to A to expand this um, in ascending powers of x up to and including the term in x squared. Now, what we can do, right, if we write that down, um, first of all, we've got a big bracket, 1 plus 3x over 1 plus 2x, all squared. Now, when you're squaring um, top and bottom, okay, we can literally do that separately, right? So we can split this up. Um, so 1 plus 3x, all squared, okay, divide by uh, 1 plus 2x, um, all squared, okay? So we can square them separately, all right? Now, um, the next thing we can do then is, is take this bracket up there. So then that would become negative power, negative 2. And of course, we've already expanded this, haven't we? we we've, we've done that, okay? It was around the same part, A, so that's where we're going to use A. Now, for the first bracket to expand that, we don't need to use the binomial expansion up here, okay? This just goes back to GCSE, because it's positive power 2. You quite simply, you just got to write the bracket out twice, haven't we? Because it's squaring, and we'll expand this, okay? So this will be a finite expansion, okay? There'll only be um, three terms in there once we simplify it. So if what, what I'll do here now is if I expand these two brackets here, so I'll get, well, if I do firsts, I get 1. Outers, I get 3x. And inners, I'll also get 3x. That will make 6x when I combine them. And then the last, 3x times 3x is 9x squared. So that bracket squared there, it's got a finite expansion, right? It doesn't go on and on forever like, like these ones do. 
but this one we expanded here up to x squared so let's just substitute that in then right 1 minus 4x plus 12x squared okay so then we've got a bracket times a bracket and we need just need to expand that then multiply it out so that we have a um our terms up to x squared so let's start focus on the one so one times one is one one times negative four x is negative four x and one times twelve x squared is twelve x squared okay so times one by everything in here let's go with the six x six x times one is six x six x times negative four x is minus twenty four x squared there now i don't need to times that by that okay because if i times that by that I'll end up with x cubed, so we can ignore that. Move on to this. 9x squared times 1 is plus 9x squared. And then I don't need to times the 9x squared by this, because it'll be an x cubed term. Nor by this, because it'll be x power 4 term. So simplifying, I get 1. Okay, that would be plus 2x. And then 12x squared, take away 24x squared, plus 9x squared will be minus 3x squared. Okay, so we've got their terms up to x squared for this then finally then to finish off it says state the range of values of x which your expansion is valid well we have to go back to this here okay this expansion here and of course when we look back to the validity formula in the formula book we just replace that with 2x okay so it'd be 2x is less than 1 okay and then that 2 well we can take outside of that modulus so if x is less than one half then because we can take that two over and divide so that means x is between one half and minus a half okay so that's what it's valid for we don't need to do the validity formula for this okay because it was a bracket squared we expanded it and it was a finite expansion wasn't it it didn't go on forever like this so this this term here is valid for everything it's valid for every value of x because it's a finite expansion it doesn't keep going but the, the the one we looked at was this one here wasn't it the first one okay because it goes on forever so x has to be between negative half and half for it to work